Yeah, so I mean, very high level, you all are familiar with NSX. You know, we can skip all of that, the virtualization platform. Essentially, F5, back in cloud director days, maybe a couple years ago, with the uh, cloud networking and security, and what was the integration point at that stage with vShield Manager, we worked with VMware to do an extension of that. Um, and NSX is just an expansion of that work. So essentially what we've done is allowed F5 services to be deployed, configured from within NSX uh, into the environment. So if you're, are you all, all familiar with F5? Sure, isn't it somewhat competitive with the load balancer that they have inherently built in or not? So it complements it. The idea with the NSX load balancer that's built into the edge services gateway right. um, performs kind of basic layer three, layer four load balancing. It, it has, doesn't have I rules. Doesn't have I rules, doesn't have, um, you know, our, our whole product and our, you know, the, the F5 legacy, I guess, is built on a million knobs and switches and dials. And, and all of that that we've had for years. On, and, and this integration you know, provides access to every feature that we have, so not just load balancing, but it's across the, the breadth of F5 services. Um, and another thing as well is it's, you, know, this, you can deploy services onto physical devices or virtual. So we're not just limited onto the physical footprint, or I mean the virtual footprint. So if we ever get a mouse, does it work? Okay, good. I'll just kind of jump you through. Yeah, it does. I'll skip ahead to the good stuff, maybe. Uh, and this is this is by far a work in progress. So, one other piece I'll, I'll bring up too with F5 is uh, analogous to vCenter being the central point of integration, central point of management for all of ESX and your vSphere environment. F5 has introduced a platform called Big IQ which is the same type idea, it's a single point of integration for all of your big IP devices, virtual, physical, et cetera. So our integration with NSX is through Big IQ. So Big IQ, we have a REST-based REST -based API. We're communicating with NSX's REST-based API. We've been co-developing you know, extensions to that API specifically for our integration, so it's kind of above and beyond just the load balancing piece. And what you're gonna see in the demo is uh, a sort of first pass at, at um, uh, some of the integration that we're doing. So, and I think about here is where we start. So, we'll start off, we log into Big IQ. Again, this is F5 central management piece. This is a multi-tenant um, uh, product. And so we, we start off, we've got tenants, a catalog of application services. So within Big IQ, you can define templates of services you want to deploy and make it self-service to end users. In this case, we're going to select an HTTP, sort of basic web app template. Um, within this, it brings down all the various parameters in that template. So as a provider that's making services available, you can determine, you can customize a template to say, you can edit this field, you cannot edit this field, um, and then actually publish and deploy that out to NSX. So you're saying what is available to NSX and what, which features are hard-coded, which ones are editable. From there, we build what we call a connector, which is our hook into that cloud environment. So in this case, we're building a connector to NSX. We give it a name, the description, and we have connectors into, you know, we're also multi-hypervisor, multi-cloud, so we, we have them into, um, uh, you know, VMware, AWS, OpenStack. Does it appear as a service because you put the connector in there? Now you have yeah, within NSX, it becomes a service manager. Yeah. Okay. And so we're a third-party service manager there. Um, this is old, obviously, you see vShield Manager there. IP address, username, et cetera, our credentials. And we map this, this connector into a particular user or role within Big IQ. So you can have roles that have access to this environment, but not that one. We publish it out, and when we actually hit save, what's happening is any of those templates that we customized, we're registering with, Big, with NSX, we're publishing all of those uh, their vendor templates in the NSX UI, um, which is really the, the collection of services that we have. Jumping now into so sort of, as setup, you know, we defined our app services, we registered, everything else is kind of done from within NSX. You go uh, networking security from the edge, because all services still are, are sort of facilitated through the edge gateway. Here's the new one we just registered. You click on there. Profile configurations, these, um, so 
if you scroll down, you'll see the one that we customized, which is this guy. The rest of them were already published. Uh, you see the set of attributes or parameters that we can, we can specify, but to actually uh, deploy one, you go to your Edge Gateway, or NSX Edge. So you go into an Edge. Yeah, so all, it's, it's, a, it's a service off of that, even though it's being delivered by something else. Currently, this is under a load balancer tab, but that's going to be changing as well. So, um, yeah. Meaning we're enabling the yeah external. We're taking the place of NSX load balancing. Um, you create your pool of servers or VMs that you that this this particular policy will apply to, and we can you know add pool members. This is all pretty much standard NSX yeah, that we're yeah, in, right. extending into. So a virtual server or a VIP virtual IP in big IP in F5 world, we're creating a new one. We give it the name, the VIP IP, and what you'll see under here, uh, well, it's, when we scroll down, you'll see the, the templates that we have published. So you can select one and fill in the parameters for that particular service extension. So vendor templates, we're doing service insertion. Here's the dropdown of all the ones that we've published. Yep, it really just kind of extends what's already there. Uh, you can provide your customized value for each of the parameters. There's only one here, example.com. And when you hit OK, what that actually does uh, all through the API is we're taking that parameter or that template. All the parameters have been filled in. These were hard coded with the exception of one. We publish that to Big IQ. Big IQ figures out which Big IP to send it to, publishes it to the Big IP, sets up all the parameter, I mean, all the uh, config objects within F5 that normally you would have had to do by hand. And we're actually going to show. Um, so, from the user consumption standpoint, you selected the service you wanted. We filled in one parameter and hit go. When you go to the Big IP, this is the. Actually, these are the two pool members in the pool. And in a short time, I'm rushing through this, but, yeah, no, but yeah. this is the big IP that we deployed into. Yeah. And I'm going to show you just from like that three steps, what actually was configured. So. Could you push I rules? I mean, you can push you anything, know, yeah. So here is the service that we deployed out or pushed. It's got this name Edge, which is generated from NSX. And these are all the configuration objects that were built. So if you notice, we're also including in here, we've got LAN optimization, we're doing one connect, which is multiplexing on F5, uh, a WAN optimized server side. So a lot more than what you can get just from the, uh, the VMware NSX load balancing. And there are VIPAs up and running and live. So. Oh, that was, I did it quick. Did I make the time?